Welcome back for a Beatles Timeline Moment. A timeline of more than 100 years of facts and events, with notable songs and people in the history of the Beatles. Please subscribe to this channel, to stay informed with future historical Beatles Timeline Moments. Back in the USSR Written by Paul McCartney, the Beatles began recording Back in the USSR on August 22, 1968. It was first released as an album track on the White Album in the UK on November 22, 1968, then issued in the US three days later. The song is a parody of Chuck Berry's Back in the USA and the Beach Boys' California Girls. The Beatles recorded the song as a three-piece band after Ringo Starr temporarily left the group on August 22, 1968, in protest of McCartney's criticism of his drumming. These tensions typified the sessions for the White Album. Five takes were recorded of the basic track, featuring McCartney on drums, George Harrison on electric guitar, and John Lennon on Fender bass. Take five was chosen as the best. During the overdubbing on the song, on August 23rd, McCartney and Harrison also contributed bass parts, and both also added lead guitar parts. The first overdubs were piano and drums, played by McCartney, replacing Lennon's bass part from the previous day, and another electric guitar part. After the other Beatles urged him to return, Ringo rejoined the group on September 4 to participate in the filming of a promotional clip for their Hey Jude single. McCartney's singing was based on the style of Jerry Lee Lewis, while the bridge features a Beach Boy-style celebration of girls from various parts of the USSR. In addition, the song opens and closes with a tape loop of an aircraft landing on a runway. We would like for you to participate for a Beatles discussion at our timeline website, the4beatles.com. There, you can share your thoughts and memories with us and others of more than 250 Beatles timeline topics. Again, please subscribe to this channel to stay informed with future historical Beatles timeline moments.